And we start at five with those hurricane force winds ripping through parts of Colorado. Thanks for being with us. I'm Jim Benham and there is damage and many people are without power at this hour. Trees were ripped out of the ground up in the high country and one of those down power lines sparked a small fire in the Boulder neighborhood of Carriage Hills. And here you're going to see a line of semi truck drivers near the Wyoming border. They just parked. Didn't want to risk of the risk of being out on the road and having the rigs tip over. Our first alert team coverage includes meteorologist Dave Aguilera from the weather deck. Want to start though with Spencer Wilson atop Loveland Pass. Spencer, we know wind actually shut down some of the resorts today. Jim, as you can tell, still very windy out here. We are at Loveland's ski area at the moment. They had to close all of their lifts today because it was simply too windy. Another ski resort, Winter Park, saying they recorded miles per hour of 116 for those wind gusts. Obviously, a very blustery day. April snow is a good thing for ski resorts, but hurricane force winds, not so much. This wind is tough. This wind is um, it's it's pretty severe. Uh, 100 plus mile per hour gusts is strong. Gusts at the top of a mountain are the real deal. About where the Pano does now. The peak summit lifts at Winter Park remained closed even after the base lifts started rolling. But crews had their hands full clearing trees taken down by the gusts. I believe we counted about 15 trees down on trails this morning. They've been cleaning up some of those trees and uh, to make sure that the trails are clear. Power issues near Winter Park were clear too. We drove past this team clearing a tree off of a power line. Plus, Loveland and Monarch completely closed due to those winds. Steamboat says it closed a good chunk of its lifts as well. Just not safe weather for skiers and boarders to ride up. When wind gusts get up to 40, 45 miles per hour is when it becomes a safety issue and we usually shut down. Nobody wants to be sitting on those chairs with that kind of wind. While Winter Park weathered the main wind worries, they're keeping a close eye on what the wind would do if it refuses to wilt. It has been windy all night. We'll be, uh, it's forecasted to be windy again tomorrow. Another big factor with all this wind is visibility. When it catches all that snow and starts shoving it around, difficult for drivers and also skiers who actually got to make a couple of turns today for Tim to see anything anytime whenever that wind kicks up. Live at Loveland Ski Area, Spencer.